we're gonna do a little 12 days of Christmas workout. That just means we have 12 exercises. There's lots of different ways to spin this. I've done it where like you start with one, you go all the way down, then you restart and all that stuff. We're not doing all that. We're just gonna keep it super simple. Simple is like the theme for this month, keep the stress level. However, there is gonna be 12 exercises to uh, celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. Okay. Yeah, well, I think starting today. 12, 12, yeah, so 12 days left. There we go. Thank you, uh, mathematician, um, doctorate in math. So we get the uh, correct, but I'm, you know, kind of going to the Christmas Eve. I knew I was waiting for that. That's okay. I'm trying, we don't have class tomorrow anyway. So this works fine. All right, let's get started on that theme here. This doesn't count since we're just gonna warm up. All right, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, toes straight ahead, shoot your hips back, really reach, sitting all in your hamstrings and glutes, and then squeeze and then bring the thumbs to your shoulders. And then again, reach back, exhale, squeeze. When you get to the top, tuck your rib cage down. Here we go, inhale, exhale, a little bit faster. We're freezing out here, so we gotta move a little quicker. Good, a couple more. Squeezing the glutes, getting a little more explosive. Good, and then one more. Awesome, shake it out. Okay, let's just turn your head from side to side. Loosening up that neck, might be a little stiff. Good. And widen your feet. Hinging um, on your hip onto one hip here, reaching forward if you can. And then exhale, stand up, tighten the glutes. Then again, other side, here we go. And squeeze back and forth, opening up the adductors. Good. One more each side. Awesome, good. All right, you're gonna get onto your hands and toes. Squeeze the glutes, tuck your pelvis, hinge into a down dog. Shake out your head and neck. Push one heel to the floor at a time, marching it out. Keep marching. Relaxing your head and neck. Good. Shift your hips back over into a high plank. Let's bring one leg through both hands. Okay, one leg through both hands, looking straight ahead, squeezing the, squeezing the back glute, looking kind of straight ahead, releasing that back hip. Now take the hand from the outside of the leg and bring it on in. Push the ground away a little more, open up towards the knee and breathe for three, two, one, and back, foot back, down dog. Bring the other leg in between both hands, fingertips down if you need to, looking straight ahead, squeezing that back glute, release, keep looking straight, squeezing the back glute, release. Good, take the hand from the outside, bring it on in, push away, open up towards the knee. Excellent, everybody, looking good. Getting those hips ready. All right, hand back, down dog, a little bit deeper, and then now walk until you're in a deep hinge, okay, deep hinge, and then exhale, roll on up, Whew. shoulder rolls, okay. So right now you're gonna want a floor press kettlebell, a stiff leg. We're gonna start with stiff leg deadlifts in a moment. That will be the second exercise. Let's grab a stiff leg deadlift kettlebell, okay? It's gonna be 30 seconds to start, okay? So everyone get a stiff leg deadlift kettlebell. You're also gonna want a bottoms up clean and squat kettlebell, okay? So this is where you go pretty light here where you get, you bottoms it up and you squat. Okay, this will all be time today to keep us on the same track. So all you have to worry about is perfection of form and technique. That's it, no big deal, right? <laughs> okay, 
So I'm going to do this with you guys a little bit. Uh, I'm going to go pretty light just so I can really focus on everyone. Okay, so, so have your bells off to the side just for now. Okay, and then you'll need maybe one or two more, but you'll have time in between. I just wanted my class here to get started. You guys have your bells all out in front of you. All right, so the first thing we're going to start with we're gonna start with walk out to a squat, to a jump, and then walk back in. I'll quickly demo. So you'll squat down, walk out, squeeze, walk in, jump out of it if you can, or you can just stand out of it, okay? Jump or stand out, get ready in four. So walk out, walk in with a jump. Two, one, let's go. Down into a squat, walk out, squeeze the glutes, walk in, jump up, soft landing. Good. Nice. Okay, go as fast or as slow as you choose. Okay, form first. Eight seconds to go. Two, one, and you did it. All right, walk around. Already getting warm, huh, friends? Yep. Okay, walk around. Next, we're gonna be going into stiff leg deadlifts. So you're gonna need something where you feel uh, the backs of your legs, where you're hinging at your hips, your chest does not go below. <clears throat> Always keep your shoulders at least just in line with your hips. Get ready in three, two, let's go. Deep hinge, squeezing, okay? Controlled on the way down. Explode on the way up. Controlled, really slow on the way down, guys. Yeah. And break sure you're breathing. More than halfway already. Nice. Okay. Stiff leg just means that you're still bending, but you're just not bending like you do for sumo. Two, one, and you did it. All right. Walk around. Now you're gonna need your smaller bell where you're gonna start with your less strong side. Um, it's cold here, guys, so if you, the bells might not be as, you're gonna to have to really grip hard, but it's where you push into it, you tilt, you're gonna clean it the whole time. So it's gonna be a squat, hike, re-clean, protect the face each time, okay? So let's start with our less strong side Clean and squat with the bottoms up style. Three, two, let's go. Bottoms ups. Watching the bell. High crush. Pull yourself into a nice squat. Good. Excellent. Try to keep an eye on the kettlebell. Try to keep your hips and your squat intact. Five seconds, three, two, hike it back, set it down, recover, walk around. Okay, we're on our third exercise still. Both sides does not count as two. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. I thought about it for a second, but I was like, nah. No, nope, we're gonna keep it, keep it real here. All right. And if for some reason bottoms ups is just not working for you, then you can do regular. Get ready, other side, two, one, let's go. Keeping an eye on the kettlebell. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Good. Free hand to protect your face. Almost there. And you did it. Beautiful. All right, walk around. All right, apologize to my class because we are going to be getting on the floor where it's kind of chilly um, for floor presses. Okay, so this is when you bring the bell in, straight wrist on the ground, press, and then pull, keeping that 90 degree never letting it touch your shoulder. Okay, so we're gonna get ready. We're gonna start with our less strong side. Two hands pulls the bell in, toes to the face. In three, 
to let's floor press. Good, quads are engaged, pulling it down with control. When you come down, I want your elbow and shoulder making an L shape. Okay, the bell should not, it should not be 45 degree, it's a 90 degree. Good. Right angles here. All right, five more seconds. Beautiful, two, one, and both hands sets it down, curl into it, and then we're gonna slowly switch over to the other side, okay? Get ready, pulling the bell in with safely with two hands. Three, two, let's press. Good. Pressing. Nice, you guys. Yes, strong. Beautiful. Just five seconds to go, staying super tight. In two, one, and break. Okay, wonderful. Take a moment, come on back up. And then coming up next, we're gonna be working on tactical lunges. I'll give you some modifications for those who may not be able to do these, but tactical is when you pass the belt underneath during your lunge, not in front. So I'm holding it with my right arm. So I'll step back with my right leg, pass. And then now same thing on the other side. So stay upright. Do not let the weight of the bell do this. I see that a lot with these. Please don't do that. Stay nice and upright, okay? Other option, you can hold on to something, a counter, and then work on nice and slow alternating lunges, okay? If that doesn't work, just work on deadlifts. All right, figure out what weight you're gonna use. It's timed. Get ready in three, two, let's go. Tactical lunges, nice and easy. Yeah, nice and upright. Breathing in, transferring underneath, and then breathing out. Good, looking solid everyone, nice and controlled. Good, yeah, nice Randy. Almost there. And you did it. Fantastic, everyone, good. Okay, coming up next, we're gonna be going into one arm rows. All right, so some of you can use a suspension trainer if you prefer, or you'll do the old school bent over kettlebell row with a tilt, really focusing on both flats at the same time. Okay, or make sure you know how to do single handed mode or grab a ring, be sure. All right, 30 seconds per side. Get on ready. You can go either this towards me. No, you're fine. That way it doesn't, yeah, perfect. Get ready in three, two, let's go. One arm row with a suspension trainer or with a kettlebell. That is right. Good, nice, everybody. Excellent, that looks great, Shelby. Very nice, Carrie. Good. Yep. Almost there, five more seconds. Really staying nice and tight, making sure the neck doesn't do it. And finish up, take a break. Okay, shake it out. Couple of shoulder rolls, some neck turns. Okay, and now let's get ready for the other side. All right, get ready. In three, two, let's go. Good. Nice and controlled. Excellent. Good job, Randy. Nice, Melanie. Good, 10 seconds left. Keeping the glutes tight for those doing the one arm rows with a suspension trainer. Two, one, and break. Okay, take a walk around, take a nice break here. Um, and you're gonna be very happy 
that your next exercise is going to be a shoulder dislocate with a hinge. So you can use sticks or bands. Okay. And come on over here and grab your stick, guys. Okay. Pick a stick, any stick. Pick a stick, any stick. Okay. So this time, again, band or stick, this is how your shoulder dislocate is going to look. Okay. So you're going to hinge. It's harder. And in your hinge, you're going to do a shoulder dislocate, stand up, shoulder dislocate, repeat. Okay, so you just do one way, stand up, and then finish it at, when you're at the top. Get it? Hinge, shoulder dislocate, stand up, bring it back. Deep hinge. Here we go. We're going. We are going. We are going. You're doing the backwards version, Randy, but that's okay, man. You get to do the harder version. That's cool. Okay. Deep hinge. Oops, sorry. Deep hinge, then row. Yep. You got it. A couple more seconds. Like deadlift, half deadlift, bring it around. Up. Oh, yeah. Confusing everyone, but that's okay. Making the shoulder dislocate that much cooler. All right. We did it. We'll get that one by last round. All right. Cool. Coming up next, we're gonna do this thing called the kettlebell swing. I don't know if anyone knows what that is, but hope y'all do. All right, I'm being a smart ass today. I'm being a smart ass today. Hey, there's a lot of people that don't know what swings are. Y'all should be very excited that you know. All right, let's see the best. Hey, you know, to, e to each their own. All good, don't care. Get ready, three, two, hook. One, two-handed. Good. More than halfway. And hike it back, set it down. That is one of our uh, little requirements. In order to come into class, everyone needs to be a swinger. Everybody. All right. Some of you guys took that a different way, but that's okay. You guys can take it however you choose. All right, coming up next, we're moving into planks. I guess I'm the first one to take the deck, no, second one. I'm not taking the shoes off. Holy moly. My feet get way too cold. My arms, I don't even feel them, who cares? All right, let's get ready. We're gonna go into an elbow and toe plank. Okay, get ready. In three, two, let's go. Let's see the best planks on this planet. Here we go. Talking, squeezing. Arms pushed into the floor if you can. Pushing as if you're doing like a handstand. Pushing into your elbows, squeezing your glutes, locking out those knees. Five seconds. Breathing. And you did it. Ooh, that felt good. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do this other thing called hand-to-hand -hand swings, where you pass it at the top. Okay, you pass it in the middle not at the bottom. All right, so find the appropriate kettlebell for hand-to-hand -hand swings. You got 10 seconds to go. All right. Four, three, two, hike. Pass at the top. Good. Nice, guys. Come on, use those hips. Ten seconds. Nice, Billy. Two, one. Hike it back, set it down. All right. That's ten days of Christmas. We got two more. Two more days, and then we get to do 
12 days of Christmas again. Aren't we blessed? Gosh, we're so lucky, lucky people here. All right, walking around. Coming up next, we're just gonna do some bird dogs. Yeah, that's a big gift right here. Thank you, day 11. We get bird dogs today. Get ready, three, two, let's go. Make them the best ones you've ever done. Tuck your pelvis a little, maybe kind of neutral grip, making sure the leg does not go higher than your butt. Trying to keep it nice and parallel to the floor. Same with the arm. And more than halfway there. And then after this, we're gonna be doing some Russian twists. Two, one, and come on down. All right, so for those, if, they, if you have issues with Russian twists, you can hold another plank or you can keep your feet on the floor, okay? Otherwise, we can use a kettlebell. Get ready. And three, two, let's go. Make sure you're breathing each side. Good. Nice tall chest. Breathing every rotation, leaning back a little. Good. Seven seconds, we're almost there. Looking amazing. Nice job, Melanie. Good, nice carry. Two, one, and you did it. Good. This does not count. We're just gonna do a little cat cow. All right, there we did it. That was 12 days. We're gonna hit this up again. Going back to the walk in, walk out with the jump. We're gonna hit it up again. Now your body is ready to roll. Your body's on fire. It's gonna feel amazing this round. Huh? We did, yeah. You're right, exactly, yep. We've done it, I've done it a couple years in a row, but this is, it, I, we haven't done this. Yeah, no, we haven't done this one. This one's totally different. Oh, just a little less complicated. Let's put it that way. Y'all don't have to think. That's the cool part of this one. All right, going to the walk-in, walk-out, starting back on day one. All right, five seconds to get ready. Walk out, walk in with the jump option. Let's go, good. Really tighten the glutes when you get to the top. Almost there. Three, two, and you did it. Woo! Okay. Yay. Walk around. Okay, find the appropriate kettlebell for your stiff leg deadlifts. If you wanna feel the backs of your legs this week, you're gonna to have to, excuse me? If you wanna feel the backs of your legs this week, you're gonna to have to challenge yourself. Do you mind if I just use this? Cross oh, yes. I'll give it back. All right, get ready, stiff legs in three, two, let's go. Driving back with control. Excellent, nice Nancy. Five seconds, two, one, and done. All right. Okay, shake it out. Next up, we're moving into the bottom up clean and front squat, cleaning every single time, okay? Each time before you squat again. All right, so shake it out. Hinge at your hips, push, put pressure into the bell, tilt it, hike, let's go, push. Good. Ten seconds, almost there. 
Good, looking good, guys. Keep an eye on the bell. Three, two, and one. All right. Shake it out. Walk around. Hips, a little hip. Windshield wipers. Getting warm yet? It's hard to break a sweat when it's, uh, what is it? 50, 50s out here. 55 now. Sorry, Carrie. So bad every time I say it's a little chilly here. Cause she's like, dude, it's negative 50 over here. All right, get ready other side in three, two, hike. Slow and controlled. Focus, this is a focus drill. But you really have to do laser focus on the kettlebell. When the bell goes near your face, you're watching it. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. Okay. All right. Start choosing your floor press bell. Okay, straight wrists on your backs. Less strong side first. Three, two, go. Look, yep, toes are pointed to your face. The whole body is engaged. You will thank me later on that one, the whole body. Yeah, quads are really tight. Good. 10 seconds, take your time. Three, two, two hand sets it down. You got plenty of time to get to the other side. No rushing here. All right, get ready. Two hands pulls that bell in. We're gonna go to the other side now in three, Two, let's press, floor press. Pushing yourself deeper into the floor. Yep, the bell is just floating away from you. Yeah, good. So good, y'all, so good. Five seconds left. Two, one, and two hands sets it down. Okay, moving into our tactical lunges. Okay, so figure out the bell that works best for you. Okay, where you're gonna stay nice and even and controlled. Okay, you have 10 seconds to prepare. Okay, figuring out the bell that you'd like. In three, two, let's go. Good. Strong lunges over here. Two, one, and finish up. Okay. All right, shake it out. Next, we are moving into our one arm rows, kettlebell row or suspended row. Okay. So get, get on ready. You've got about eight seconds to prepare in four, three, two, let's go. Good. Awesome job, you guys. Excellent. And that nice, nice arc motion for those doing the kettlebell row or arcing. Okay, four seconds left. 
and finish up. Amazing. Okay, stand on up. Let's do a couple shoulder rolls and neck turns in between. Good, and then let's get ready for the other side. Okay, get ready in position, everyone. In three, two, we're going. Nice morning, good. Excellent, Randy. Uh, just 14 seconds to go. Keep working hard. Two, one, and walk around. Okay. All right, now we get to do, I'm just gonna cover it while you're resting for a second. So it's like a deadlift. Dislocate, stand, finish up your dislocate. Again, deadlift, dislocate, up. Bring it around, here we go. Nice, Randy, you got it. Good, you can even bring, uh, keep it closer to your body when you're deadlifting. I want you guys to imagine you're sliding it down your shins and then doing it. So this is getting your hips, your shoulders, you're sliding down the stick as close to your body as possible, almost no air in between. There it is, see the difference? Almost there. And break, beautiful. And yeah, keeping that close is key. And for those that are interested in barbell deadlifting one day, that is how you have to do it. You basically have to scrape the crap out of your shins to keep it super close to your body. Risk versus reward. If you have a solid, solid, solid back and you have great form, this is amazing. Okay, if your back goes out once in a while, kettlebell deadlifts are the safest out of all just because they're in between. All right, enough lecturing on that one. Moving into the swing, our favorite. Okay, get ready. Two-handed swing in three, two, hike. Let's go. Two-handed swing. Good, there it is. Ten seconds. And hike it back, set it down. Quick little break. Yeah. No more being cold now. Finally warmed up. Okay, now I can show my Christmas socks off. I don't know. I just love all of these socks. They're just so comfortable. All right, guys, let's get ready for our planks. Elbows and toes, three, Two, let's plank. Keep holding, keep tucking, 10 seconds. Keep pushing into your hands, into your elbows, into your quads. Two, one, and come on down. Whew. Okay, we're gonna head on back up in just a second. Feel free to do a couple neck turns and shoulder rolls. We need to loosen up for our hand-to-hand -hand swing drill. Okay, yeah. Anyone sweating yet? Up indoors over here? Y'all indoor folk? No, Anne Claire, you're not sweating yet? No? Maybe you, you need to switch. Yeah, you are. Okay. Get ready. Hand to hand swings. Three, two, arc. Nice.
sir. And take a break. Walk around. Whew, good job. All right, we're heading on down to bird dogs in just a moment. Heading on down. All right, on your hands and knees, finding neutral on your pelvis. Okay, so not tucked and not untucked, right in between. Three, two, let's go. Also trying not to um, hang on your neck or shoulder blades. Really stay active in each shoulder, kind of pushing away from the ground like we do in our high planks and push-ups. Yep, thank you, looking good. Almost there, keep a couple more seconds. Two, one, and finish up. Okay, Russian twist time. Get ready. Three, two, let's go. Two, one, and you did it. All right, couple cat cows. All right, who can handle one more round? You can always go light. No one's saying to go heavy today. We've got time for one more fun little round. <clears throat> yeah, who's ready? I think everyone's here for it. We're doing it, but we're doing it whether y'all, you know, you can always log off. Don't log off, come hang out with us. Okay. All right, don't forget, we are starting with a walk-in, walk-out to a stand-up squat or to a jump squat. Okay, that's okay. You're allowed to forget. There's 12 things. I don't, our brain can only handle what, seven at a time? Is that right? I don't know. Maybe Randy might've memorized it. Is it seven? Seven? Gosh, Randy, like we're, we're aligned today, man. I feel special. All right, get ready. Walk in, walk out with the optional jump squat. Three, two, let's go. Starting in that squat. Ooh, a lot different not jumping in heavy Uggs. That's nice. Five seconds. Three, two, and take a break. Okay, walk around. No COVID. <laughs> I'm kidding, Randy. All right, couple hip circles, couple hip circles. All right, let's get ready for the stiff leg deadlift. Finding your stiff leg deadlift. Get ready, toes straight ahead. Three, two, let's go. You get to control the, the intensity today. You can go as light as you want or as heavy as you want. Make it your own. Ten more seconds. Two, one. Down you go. Okay. Back to the bottoms up, clean with the front squat. Now you got 15 seconds to figure out what bell you want. Lots of options. Okay, five, four, three, two, hike.
two, one, and set it down. A little wrist work if you like. Whatever you like. All right. Moving into the other side very soon here. You have 10 more seconds. I'm almost ready to take the socks off. Whew, that went light, so it took me a little longer to warm up. Get ready, three, two, hike. Five seconds and you did it. Finish up. Okay, good job, walk around. Time to think about the floor presses next. Okay, you guys are all doing so beautifully. Okay, on your back. Get ready. In three, two, let's go. More than halfway. Three, two, and whole body parts it, passing it to the other side. Go ahead and bring that bell on and get ready in three, two, let's go. Feel free to make a fist on that opposite side to create even more tension to make it that much lighter. It's the idea, making every bell feel as light as possible. And you did it. Two hands parks the bell. And we're going into tactical lunges. Let's get ready. You've got 20 seconds. Ten seconds to get ready. Getting the bell ready in the hand that you choose and the leg that you'll start with. Two. One, let's go. Take care. Inhale, exhale. Three two, and finish up. Beautiful. Okay, good job, guys. All right, next, one arm row time. Okay, one arm rows. You choose the kind of row you want. All right, get ready. Take care, Andy. All right, five more seconds. Take care, three. Two, let's row. Making sure that supportive arm is also, that lat's also engaged. Shoulders packed. Five seconds. And come on up, Whew. shake it out. All right, let's get ready for the other side. Three, two, go.
more than halfway. Last round, everyone. We're almost there now. Home stretch. Two, one. And you did it. Hey, okay, straighten out, walk around. Okay, we're moving into two handed swings. Make whatever you choose count. Okay, light, heavy, just make it look good. Okay, you've got a, about 10 seconds to get ready. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, hike. Come on. 10 seconds. Two, one. Set it down, walk around. Woo. Walk around. All right, shake it out. Got the jams on today. Okay, moving into our amazing plank. Got eight seconds to do it. Make your way to the floor. Three, two, let's go. Keep sweet holding. Imagine you're bringing your elbows to your toes, toes to your elbows. Ten seconds. Two, one. And you did it. A couple cat cows if you'd like. With a little segmentation. And then we're heading up to the hand to hand swings. Ooh. All right. Sit. I don't know. We're almost there. Not so bad. All right, easy for me to say. All right, get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, hike, hand to hand. Come on. Explode. I'd like you freaking mean it, guys. Let's go. Almost there. 10 seconds. Three, two, and you did it. Walk around. Whew. Kind of worked out. Good. All right, moving into bird dogs in just a moment. And then we're going to finish up with our bird dogs and Russian twists. So make your way to the floor. And here we go. Nice long arms, guys. Toes pointed to your shins. Three, two, and come on down. Okay. Final Russian twist. Couple more seconds. Pick your bell if you choose, or you can do this body weight just with your hand. Three, two, let's go. Ten seconds. Three, 
two, one, and done. All right, <laughs> good work. Let's go ahead and lie on our backs. 12 days of Christmas, complete. Three times, not once, but three times. Okay, on your back, palms flat on the floor, gentle knee sways. Keeping your foot connected to the floor. Left ankle over right knee. Hang here. Pull the right knee in. Rock from side to side. There we go. Rocking. Both feet back on the ground. Right ankle over left knee. Hold here for just a moment. Bring that left knee in and back to rocking from side to side. And go ahead and turn over onto your stomach. We're just gonna just sit here for a second and just decompress our spine. So you're just gonna be on your elbows. You don't have to do any work. Just relaxing into your spine. Hanging here for a moment. Breathing. And then from here, you're gonna sit into a child's pose. Push the knees open. Keep, put the hips onto the heels. Gently stretch your arms out if that feels good for you while you're keeping your hips on your heels. Walking your hands to one side. Slowing down that breath. And then walking your hands to the other side. And then back to the center. Curl your toes underneath. Kind of gently push in, if you can, to each toe. Just gently. Really try to get that strength on each little toe of yours. Stretching. You kind of lose this, so we got to work, definitely work on that. Good. And then from here, push yourself up slowly. Ooh. Shoulder rolls. Nerve work, just a little nerve work, each side. One on each side. And we're just gonna do a deep breath in when you get those sides. And exhale, and deep breath in. And exhale. Happy Monday, guys. And thank you guys so much for coming. You guys did so wonderfully. So wonderful to see you guys. Thank you. Take care.